Hey everyone, it's Ashley with CT Arena Digitals. I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to do a composite with a backlit image. Uh, I already have, this is from my um, backlit um, rooms collection, but they are not out yet. Um, I will post below in the description when they are. Uh, I already have my image that I want to use. Have her selected. Um, you can use these digitals without backlit um, images too. You just don't put them in front of any of the reflection or the window, but they could come over here, um, over here. Um, every one of them is different. So, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and copy since I already have her selected. All I did was just go to my quick selection tool and select subject and went in and fine tuned um, what I wanted selected. Edit paste. Um, I've had some questions on like properly sizing people in images. There's not really like a way to tell you like how to perfectly do it, but to, other than to just look around the room in the digital and just realistically compare them to the things um, around them. Like this door, like if she were right up against it, um, she would obviously be like about this size because the door is not going to be um, that much bigger than her, but it's going to be bigger than her. Um, but I want to put her further out in the room. So, and it's hard for me sometimes too. I'll go back in and resize them sometimes after I edit. <clears throat> I think that looks good for now. Maybe. So this is what I do too. Okay. Okay, so for backlit images, um, I obviously have to tweak some of the highlights and stuff on her because of where I wanted to place her. If the light was coming this way, like it is going to the left, it would be a little bit easier, but I really like this image and I want to use it for backlit. So... Um, we're going to have to mess around with this part down here because obviously she's blocking the light coming in. Um, and if it were an all white kind of blown out floor for backlit, it wouldn't matter as much. And we could just add shadow. But because of this texture right here, we need to get rid of it. Um, first, I'm going to this part of her train definitely needs. Um, it's too bright. So I'm going to click on her over her layer. I'm going to go up to my adjustments and just put a um, curve layer on it until it kind of looks, it's still going to be bright, but I want to blend it in a lot more. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and press control or command if you're on a Mac I to invert the layer, come over to my brush, make sure it's white, 100%, and actually, I actually don't want to do 100% yet. I want to do like 50, around 50. Just allows you to brush it on a little bit more at a time rather than all at once, because I'm going to do it around this side of her too, because um, with this image, it was very bright everywhere. There was light bouncing off everywhere, and this was really um, soft right here. So the light, I had like a V flat on the other side of her too, so that bounced a whole lot of light back right at her. Um, as you can see, there's way more shadows in this one, so you want to add more shadows to the back side of the subject. Obviously, just play around with it. Okay, I'm going to go in ahead and create a layer mask on her and fix up some of the floor. I'll do the, her everything in just a minute, but just clean 
clean this up a little bit. If it looks like I'm part taking out part of her dress, I'm not. It's just part of the floor that got copied. Okay, that's good for now <clears throat> on the bottom at least. Okay, so the way that I... When, you're, when the floor is not completely blown out and white, it makes it tough. <clears throat> it makes it harder. You have to edit a little bit more on the actual backdrop. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the backdrop layer. I'm going to go up to my clone tool. And I'm going to select a part of the floor over here. I'm actually going to move her over just a little. Oops. Her, not the room. Over just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and select this part of the floor over here. <clears throat> and now the shadow needs to come and needs to feather off of the edge of her dress over here because she's basically blocking the window light. Um, so I'm going to go underneath and just a little bit at a time block that light. around her and then if you need to just go ahead and create a layer mask to brush some of it back off. Use your brush not your clone, clone stamp like I just did. So I said it takes a little bit of time at least for me. I'm sure some of you are way better at this than I am. So it's black to take away, white to put back on. That's I know I explained that in multiple of my other videos, but okay. So you can see through her dress that the light is still hitting her going up to the dress. And then once her it hits her legs and her dress, the, the shadow falls behind. Okay, so I will go ahead and merge these two layers now. So I'm done with that. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to multiply. Select multiply for the blending mode. My brush, 10% uh, opacity, and I'm going to select some of the shadow over here. And I'm going to brush it behind her to add shadow to the floor. This is another question I get a lot. Blending the bottom of the dress into the photo. A lot of people try to take a brush and do a really thick line that's, that's not going to look realistic. For instance, like look at the curtains over here. You you want to do like a thin, darker line to blend the dress into the floor. Um, I'm going to create another layer because I like my shadow there. And if I have to get rid of any of the other shadows, I don't want to mess with that. And this will take, sometimes takes a minute to get exactly... tried it a hundred. Okay. Darker. Well, 
lots of tweaking till you get it how you want it. Okay, now it dips back here. So there's going to be more shadow there. I kind of compare it to like doing bubble letters. That's what it kind of reminds me of. We can brush this off if, it, if it's too much in some areas, like I'll end up brushing, feathering that out. Only want to go up until where the light seems I already know it's too much in some areas, but that's okay because you can go back in and brush it off. Okay, I'm going to create a layer mask. Switch to my black brush, make this bigger, and down a little bit. Feathering. important. Now I say this a lot in my other videos, but <clears throat> I hate when people say that composites are super easy. They're not super easy. They're easy if you know what you're doing in Photoshop, but learning them is hard. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more shadow to this part. Actually, we can do that on another layer. Yeah, just a for a minute. Let's go around. Oh. Multiply. I just duplicated that layer for the bottom of the dress so I can fine tune the shadow a little bit more. It's pretty uneven. I'm going to go back in. A little bit bigger of a brush. feather it out a little bit. Still not using a very big brush and feathering it out a ton, just expanding that. shadow there, so I'm brushing that off. Not much of it, at least. Oh. 
Okay, I am happy with that. If it was for a client, I would probably literally spend like another hour on it. But for tutorial's sake, I'm happy with that. Okay, I'm gonna go around the edges and clean her up a little bit more. 100% small brush. I like to leave their hairline and their head sharp. I don't like to really take off that unless there's like stuff sticking off of their face, obviously. But I think that other than the train, I selected it pretty good. Use my blur tool and I'm going to go around and add blur to the edges of her. So it blends more nicely. Smooths the edges of the dress too. So I want to blur the room a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer again, go up to filter, blur. I know people do this multiple different ways, but for quick purposes, I'm going to do about 4.8 is good. I do around five, create a layer mask, brush off of the field that she is standing on. Almost to the edge, but not quite. As you can see, that makes it look a lot more realistic and it blurs this part of the floor down here as well. Actually I'm going to brush a little bit of that back on right there. Okay. Flatten. E4. 